Over a year after the Gods and Monsters announcement video, the first new movie has been announced and added to the roster of the DCU's first chapter, a live-action Teen Titans movie written by Anna Noguera, a writer whose credits only include one short from 2018, but also she wrote the screenplay for Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, which was apparently good enough for James Gunn to quickly hire her for Teen Titans as well. This is a big deal for a few reasons. It's the first new movie added to the roster since the announcement video, there's never been a live-action Teen Titans movie before, and while the DCU has already teams confirmed to be getting projects, they're all more obscure teams like the Authority and Creature Commandos, and unlike those teams, the Teen Titans has a built-in fanbase. Probably the biggest group of those fans are most familiar with the 2003 lineup of the Dick Grayson version of Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, Raven, and Beast Boy, but that's never actually the exact lineup that existed in the comics, nor is it really possible in the DCU, given what we know, at least not with those characters all being actual teenagers. This movie announcement got me thinking about what the lineup of the movie will be, and so that's what I'll be discussing in this video. Let me know what you would like the lineup to be in the comments down below, and make sure to like and subscribe for more DCU content. Let's begin. First and foremost, we have to bring the options down and eliminate every single Teen Titans or Young Justice member who I think is just unlikely. Most of the characters I've eliminated are pretty minor or have faded into irrelevance, which is something that yes, James Gunn does like to use, but for the Teen Titans specifically, there is so many very popular characters to use that there is no reason to scrape the bottom of the barrel at all. And so for all of those irrelevant characters, I'm not going to be even mentioning why I eliminated them, but there are more popular characters who I've eliminated for a specific reason. All the way back on February 19th, 2023, James Gunn had this interaction on Twitter where he replied to an article that went over eight characters who should appear in the DCU with would four of eight do, implying that four of those characters will be appearing while four won't be. Then he liked to reply stating these four do with pictures of Static, Vixen, Nightwing, and Cassandra Cain, practically confirming that those four characters will be appearing in chapter one of the DCU while the other four will not be. And actually all four of those characters who will not be appearing are affiliated at least somewhat with some version of the Teen Titans. There's John Kent aka Superboy who hasn't been born yet, Kyle Rayner who is the next Green Lantern in line but they still have to introduce and develop the three we are getting, Terra who's mostly only a important for one story that's been adapted to death anyway, and easily the most important of these is Roy Harper aka Arsenal, one of the original five members of the Teen Titans, and while I could do without the rest, I hope they at least acknowledge Roy's existence in some way, maybe state that he's retired due to his addiction, or maybe James Gunn hopefully changed his mind and will include Roy, not necessarily on the lineup, but in some sort of way, but because of this, I will not be including Roy at all in this video. Certain other Titans I've eliminated because there are more interesting similar characters like Ace West compared to Impulse and Tempest compared to Calderon Aqualad. I wouldn't include Superboy because there'd be an oversaturation of Kryptonian characters with Superman getting a movie, Supergirl getting a movie, and then also a Teen Titans movie with Superboy, Hawk and Dove because of the spotlight they already got on Titans, Ravager and Jericho because I'd want to save Deathstroke and any related character for a sequel, Wally West because I'd want them to use him as a Justice Leaguer, and every non-Robin Bat Family member because it's definitely a Robin who should take that spot. At this point, there are 15 heroes to choose from, and they could be split into two separate categories. Those who need to be adults in this universe, like Nightwing, Donna Troy, Starfire, and Blue Beetle, whose character was already an adult in 2023. And those who could be teenagers, like Damian Wayne, Tim Drake, Impulse, Wonder Girl, Aqualad, Red Arrow, Static, Cyborg, Raven, Beast Boy, and Bumblebee. These categories are important because we don't know yet how close they're going to stick to this being an actual team of teenagers. The article confirming the movie used the words Teen Titans to describe the upcoming movie, it also seems unlikely they used the title Titans, since that was already a TV show. On the other hand, Titans, and especially the DC AMU with movies that were still called Teen Titans, did set the precedent for versions of these teams that are mixes of adults and teenagers. The next thing we have to take into consideration is what the plans for Robin are post The Brave and the Bold. Whether they would want Damien to move over to the Teen Titans, or maybe have Tim Drake be the Robin of the Titans, 
But in that case, they'd probably have to give Tim a new superhero identity, or actually in any case, otherwise risk greatly confusing general audiences. They could also use Nightwing as the Robin of the Titans, but not only is he an adult, but also then what exactly are they going to do with Tim? Will Tim even exist in this universe? You then also have to consider which version of the Teen Titans this will be based on. The original, the cartoon team, Young Justice, Rebirth, the Titans, who knows? Because at this point in time, we don't yet know enough to narrow it down from these 15. I'll be making multiple different options, two for each Robin, that takes all of these ideas into account. Before we get to those teams though, there is definitely one more thing we have to take into consideration, and it has to do with which version of the Titans is being adapted. And that's, there is one version that has a far more extensive rogues gallery. Without Raven, you can't have Brother Blood and Trigon. Without Beast Boy, you can't connect to the Doom Patrol or use the Brain and the Brotherhood of Evil. And without Starfire, you can't use Blackfire or the Tamaranians. As for Cyborg, while he doesn't bring in any Teen Titans villains per se, he does add a lot to the dynamic and is the only one of the four to be hinted at by James Gunn. Gunn liked the photo on Twitter of someone asking if we could see the more human and classic pre-New 52 Cyborg design, using that design, making Cyborg a teenager again, and putting him back on the Titans where he fits the best would help to greatly differentiate him from his DCEU counterpart. Beyond the villains, those members make up the most iconic, most popular, and most well-known team, while also being some of the only heroes who aren't sidekicks to Justice Leaguers. And so setting the Teen Titans apart from being a junior Justice League, all that is to say that I think it's definitely that version of the Teen Titans that will be and should be the basis for the live action movie franchise. And so all of the teens I came up with are based on it with the exception of just one. And it's that one I'll be starting with. If Tim is the Robin of the Teen Titans, then first of all, I'd have him take Nightwing's moment from the Judas contract of gaining a new identity. Maybe Red X, definitely not Red Robin, it's not too different from Robin, so I don't think it really works. But also, getting past that, I'd say the movie is ever so slightly more likely, compared to Damien or Dick Grayson's teams, to be based on a team made up of primarily former psychics, because Tim is a member of Young Justice. That particular aspect of the Titans might actually be leaned into, since the Titans seem to be getting a movie before the Justice League, and it's entirely possible that the League will have maybe an unconventional lineup, or maybe even be a Justice League Unlimited type situation where it's dozens of heroes. So maybe having the T-Titans be made up of heroes who are primarily actually sidekicks to the classic Justice League members would be exactly what they're going for. As previously mentioned though, I will not be including Superboy for now, so there clearly would be changes from the original Young Justice lineup, and the lineup I'd go with here, which includes six heroes, are Robin, Impulse, Wonder Girl, Aqualad, Red Adam, Arrow and Static. Tim, Bart, and Cassie are from the original Young Justice lineup. Aqualad is included honestly just because of his role in the Young Justice cartoon. Red Arrow replaces Arrowette, who has honestly just become irrelevant. As for Static, as I mentioned earlier, he's confirmed for the universe, and so barring a Static movie, this would probably be the best place for him to appear. This team is one of only two teams in this video that is entirely made up of actual teenagers, which I would say is the ideal for a teen Titans movie, but clearly given all the stipulations, it wasn't the easiest to make feel right. The other Tim Drake team is interchangeable with one of the Damian Wayne teams, meaning the only change is that it replaced Tim with Damian. This team is based on the 2003 cartoon. In that show, while Robin was Dick Grayson, he did take many elements such as design and choice of weapon from Tim Drake, leading to a lot of people thinking that maybe he is Tim Drake. So I don't really think that changing Dick for Tim would change the look and feel of the Teen Titans very much at all, aside that is for Starfire, who I definitely feel must be the same age, or at least around the same age as Dick Grayson, and would have a past with him. In that case, and since Beast Boy, Raven, and Cyborg all also need to be the same age as each other to keep their respective dynamics, like Beast Boy and Raven dating, or Beast Boy and Cyborg being best friends, Starfire would then be the only adult member of the team. They could probably pull that off by focusing on that, making her the leader, the one who put together the team, or they can make it less weird by adding a second adult member by reintroducing Jaime Reyes, aka Blue Beetle, who doesn't really have many places to be brought into the DCU. He's clearly not getting a sequel given the first movie's box office. One option is Booster Gold, but even then Booster Gold has a far closer relationship with the other Blue Beetle, Ted Kord. Beyond that, I can't really see Jaime appearing anywhere else aside from down the line a Justice League movie, so this would probably work. I will admit though, out of the six teams, this is definitely my least favorite because also it works better with Damien. Damien is definitely a little bit more different compared to Tim 
him from the 2003 cartoon Robin in everything from design to personality to weapons to even age. Although if anything, I'd say the age aspect helps here a bit. With Tim, the team would just be a bunch of teenagers the same age and two adults, while Damien would most likely be a good few years younger than the other teenagers, so the ages of the team would be a bit more all over the place. If anything, making it more fitting for the adults to be present, just like it was in the DCAMU. Still, I would definitely prefer to see a version of the Damien Wayne team that includes only teenagers, and so we'd have to get rid of Starfire and Blue Beetle and replace them with two others. My first thought for replacing Starfire would be another female alien like Supergirl or Miss Martian. Supergirl isn't really much of a titan though, and she has her own movie franchise, and while Miss Martian can work, a third of the team would then be green, and it's for that reason I honestly didn't include Miss Martian in the various categories. Almost every team already has Beast Boy a green character. There isn't really room for Miss Martian. Then, out of the remaining female heroes, it's either between Wonder Girl or Bumblebee. Bumblebee does make the team feel less like a Justice League Junior, but at the same time, her power set is basically identical to the Wasp from Marvel, and there'd definitely be comparisons made. Wonder Girl, on the other hand, alongside the final member that I'll be adding, will make the team half sidekicks to Justice Leaguers and half original Teen Titan characters, which I think is a nice blend of the two concepts, so I would go with Wonder Girl here, specifically the Cassandra Sandsmark version who age-wise would be the same age as Damien, as would the final member. I think Damien can have an interesting dynamic and friendship with maybe Bart Allen, who for this lineup specifically, I'd have him become Kid Flash instead of Impulse because I think the design complements the rest of the team a bit better. Finally, are the teams led by Nightwing, which just the fact that Nightwing is on these teams means that neither of them are fully made up of teenagers. In this scenario, Damien remains in the Brave and the Bold franchise as the Robin to Batman, and the Robins are a bit streamlined. Jason is either dead or out on his own as Red Hood, while Tim Drake, honestly, I have no idea what they would do with him in this scenario, so let's just say he retired, or maybe he just never existed, while Dick Grayson is Nightwing. Obviously, to start things off, we have the 2003 lineup just with Dick as Nightwing instead of Robin. At this point, again, assuming the movie and team will be called Teen Titans, we do have three teenagers and two adults. Going from there, for the Nightwing team specifically, I'd have them have seven members as opposed to six. One of those members members, however, would certainly be Blue Beetle for both teams, who fits better on this team compared to the Tim or Damien team, since here he's one of three adults instead of just two. That then creates an equal number of adults to teens, which is not right for a team called the Teen Titans. So the final member will be a teenager, and honestly, this final member could be almost anyone. Bumblebee, Kid Flash, Wonder Girl, Static, Aqualad, etc. I did commit to making two teams, though, so if I had to choose for this specific lineup, I think first I'd go for Static, since it's just Nightwing that is a sidekick to a Justice Leaguer, and secondly, I'd go for an absolute shocker twist and use none of them, instead I'd bring back Ravager, since honestly I don't think any of the rest really fit for this particular lineup. I did say that I don't want any Deathstroke related characters until the sequel, but maybe that could work with Ravager, and maybe Ravager could be later revealed to be the Terra substitute that she was actually working for Slade, I don't know, but I do think for this lineup, Ravager fits the best. Now that we've gone over the six possible teams, featuring the three different possible Robins. Which one of these teams would be my personal favorite? Well, I did say earlier that I'd prefer the entire team to be teenagers since they are the Teen Titans. So it's definitely between the old teenage Tim team, which is based off of mostly Young Justice, and the old teenager Damien team, which is mostly based off of the 2003 lineup, but it is mixed in with other teams. Between the two though, it's certainly, I'd say, the Damien team that has the most potential for a few reasons. Damien is my personal favorite Robin, he is definitely more popular nowadays than Tim is as well. It's based more so on the more popular version of the Teen Titans, and the villains that Beast Boy and especially Raven bring in are huge. In this scenario, a big aspect of the world is that while heroes are common and have been for a while, and even team up with each other pretty regularly, non-government related superhero teams are never considered. The JSA existed in the 40s as a government subsidized team, but were forced out in the 50s, and since then, superhero groups haven't been a popular idea. Superheroes started popping up again in the 2010s, starting with Batman.
Batman and Superman, several government-related superhero teams started popping up in the early 2020s like the Suicide Squad, Creature Commandos, and the Terrifics. And then the Authority movie comes in, where in the 2020s the Authority is established and if anything proves people's aversion to superhero teams right. Finally, these six teenage superheroes come together by pure circumstance in the late 2020s and decide to rebel against the status quo like teenagers tend to do, and they form an official superhero team, the Teen Titans. Initially, they aren't liked very much, not helped by having a half-robot, half-animal, and half-demon on their team, but after they save the world, general opinion on them becomes more favorable. Later on, the Teen Titans inspire the adult heroes to form a team of their own, the Justice League, which is different from any other version of the DC Universe, but I think it could be interesting. As for the unused heroes, Nightwing would get his own TV show, or maybe his own movie, in which Starfire would appear either briefly or maybe even as a main character, Jason is either dead or off by himself as Red Hood, Tim remains as Batman's sidekick, but he does change his superhero identity, Wally West is the Flash and is largely unrelated to Bart's story, who would be similar to his New 52 Kid Flash counterpart in that he wasn't much of a Flash character, he was pretty much exclusively a Teen Titans character. The original Teen Titans from the comics never existed, but Dick Wally and Donna Troy have teamed up with each other in the past and consider each other close friends. However, Donna Troy did quit the Wonder Girl role, Roy retired because of his addiction, and Aqualad returned to Atlantis. Maybe a second Teen Titans movie could introduce Red Arrow and the new Aqualad. The first movie, however, would feature the Teen Titans, and it would be a newly formed group of heroes who are exclusively between the ages of around 13 to 17, and includes Damian Wayne aka Robin, Raven, Beast Boy, Cyborg, Kid Flash who is Bart Allen, and Cassandra Sandsmark aka Wonder Girl. 